showing me this new location. Let's go sit down a minute. Gen doble or hello if you're English. So I thought I'd better start a little vlog series because life is getting interesting, for me anyway. As of now, I've moved to Poland, about two hours away from the Ukrainian border. And I thought it'd be good to quickly run down what's happening here. Over the last two weeks, trying to adapt and understand that my polski is very, very limited. So when I go and talk to people, when I go to shops in the gym, I'm coming up saying hello, it's nice. As of two days ago, finished my diploma in TFL. And with that, I've now got a job in September when the schools open up after the summer holiday. Right now, uh, in this amazing uh, little woodland that they set up here in Poland, they put a lot more effort than they do in the UK. So we have this gorgeous self. I'm trying to look for them red squirrels. Uh, I got myself a bag of nuts to get them relaxed. Just relax a little bit and check in with you guys. This being a important milestone for me, with this long-term goal to get the CM Reap, grow the family of turtles right here on YouTube, use the power behind a real community in order to set up a community center. So for me, this qualification is now that basic income that I need in order to survive. So Isa tells me that the red squirrels here in this woodland uh, are used to being fed by hand. Now I did this when I was young, young, and never since. And being that ginger redhead myself, it would be nice to have a connection. Didn't like the whistle. Come, come on. So I thought it'd be handy to go through a couple of points that I've learned since living in Poland for the last two weeks. I've still got five and a half months left here. One of the major things I've realized is the low cost of people. Obviously, people's income here. Ninja Warrior, ah, come here. People's incomes here are much lower in which the cost of everything is so much cheaper. I'm buying less processed foods for cheaper going out for a drink is cheaper it's nice when you're on a british level currency the other thing i've realized living in poland and trying to get out of that comfort zone there's a weird dynamic where people are are incredibly nice you go to a shop you go to gym you do any sort of out and about thing People are extremely nice. But on the other hand, Isa tells me that when you see guys in the street and stuff, even by looking, doing a very British thing of smiling, saying hello, Jen Dobler, could trigger some people to get violent, to get aggressive. I haven't had it yet, so don't hold me to that. Nice little skate park. Mm, not bad. Even a nice bird's nest fell over. Gorgeous area. The other thing I learned about Poland whilst being here is Poland obviously being a heavy Christian Catholic country in this town that isn't a major city or anything. 
has five cathedrals, churches, um, and every Sunday they close all the shops and it's like a, they call it a fun day. Um, and you've got many public holidays where everyone gets the day off to celebrate religious, um, religious days, such as the body of God, which I'll link up here. For myself personally, emigrating to another country and if you watch many travel vloggers, many people that are out and about and very comfortable with mass change. Myself now being in Poland and I've always been someone that could be a scatty. I can move to one place and another. It's not a big deal for me. And moving to Poland has been no different for me and the level of comfort that I can get low enough that as long as you have a shop with your food, as long as you have access to these Western luxuries, this isn't a big deal to me. This is quite nice. Um, the fact that it's a little bit different, different language, different culture, the celebrations are different. Yesterday went round uh, one of Isa's cousins and he gave me some strawberry homemade rum. I had three shots, I was done. But it's nice, it's peaceful. And I've got another squirrel over here and he's going film. Let's go see. Is it bad? Oh, and there he is again. Is it bad I would rather see and film animals? over people. One other point I wanted to make, after watching Indigo Traveler's little documentary I put up here, he's in the Ukraine and he's seeing normal people that are in the middle of the war zone on the front line against Russia and they're comfortable. People are still going to cafes, people are still trying to have a normal life despite the danger that's around them. And it made me question the massive difference between those living in luxury in the world, those that are overly wealthy, live in a materialistic environment, compared to those that have to suffer. And how could we as a, a race, human race, change that so that if there is human suffering, those at the top give to those people. As was about to finish up here, realize that they have a public gym with gymnastic rings. Let's get a very quick workout in whilst we're here. Now gymnastic rings are the hardest thing I've ever attempted. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit sickly after having a, a, Pol a Polish drink. Cool. Emoa. 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 Juju Mufu, Mufu. off of gym this this isn't good public restroom doi doi so after a failed workout they didn't even have dip bars so it wasn't even that good but there were two a polish lady or polka and a polish man polak uh, that was sat down trying out some of the pull-ups so again trying to come out of your shell come out of your comfort zone i went introduced myself in polish asked them how they was in polish um and then again, that damn language barrier hit in. Luckily, having a new Google phone has a translation that's been very handy, so thank you, Google. It's midday here, I've been out a couple of hours. I gotta do some teaching work, gotta do a video lesson uh, example to online so I can start earning online. But yeah, it's been nice. It's been a nice little nature hunt, I guess. 
I think that cage over there is where they keep naughty um, Pollacks or drunk Pollacks. I want you little turtles to do me a favor. Look at life right now and the comfort that you have around you. And then compare that to those, the poorest in the world, whether that's in rural Africa, Asia, uh, South America. And then think how much you care about those luxuries. Uh, and admittedly, we're all guilty of it. I have a GoPro, I've got a thousand pound camera in my phone, newest Google phone. Um, I am lucky enough to be born in a country that I can go back to and have stable living. Even the homeless that I worked with for a couple of years earn more money. Some of them taking home more than 1,200 pounds a month cash. So yeah, comment below uh, your thoughts on it because it almost feels like we're so detached from each other on a small scale. Not knowing your neighbors, not knowing your city, your country, and then the rest of the world. It's a massive, massive divide, and to me, a massive problem. Right now, Poland feels like England 50 years ago. They're not quite disconnected. Nature is still alive. I remember growing up with dad and you would have a minnow and you would go out and look for animals, whether that's the small mice, voles. Um, here you go all that. It feels, I'm walking around, you're seeing two ton of red squirrels going around. It's a bit more alive. So thank you for checking in. This is going to be the very first vlog, I guess. Any vlog's going to be more of me rambling, uh, expressing thoughts, what's happening. Me and Ease. Ease has got some um, cacao powders from all over the world, some high quality stuff. We're doing a review on that, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, got some face paints to wear. Otherwise, like myself, right now, come out your shell. I know that every single person at some part of their life is getting too comfortable. It could be your health, it could be your mentality, it could be your mental health. It could be the fact that you live in a luxurious life and you're not yet humbled. Um, otherwise, guys, take care. Ginge out. Much love.